I request we sit down as we intercede for our nation this morning. Mighty and everlasting God, we thank you. We praise and we magnify your great name, Jehovah Father. We don't take it for granted that God Almighty, Father, we are here this morning. And we want to thank you, God Almighty, for being together with us, Lord. Even for taking care of us, God. Even, God Almighty, Father, for the breath of life, God Almighty. We worship and we magnify your name because, Jehovah Father, you have been our God. You have been our King, O oh God. And we declare, Jehovah God Almighty, you are the Lord over our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God Almighty, Father, for the great and many things that you have done for us, God Almighty. And we come, Jehovah Father, to this house, Lord, just to worship you, God Almighty. Just to bow before you, God Almighty, Father, and to declare you are holy. Just to join together with the 24 elders, God Almighty, and declare holy, holy, holy. Holy is you, Jehovah God Almighty, Father. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain for our sin, O oh God. God. And Jehovah Father, we thank you, King of glory, even for saving our lives, God Almighty. Even God Almighty for directing us, God Almighty, even to the word of truth. We worship and we praise you, God Almighty. And that is why, God Almighty, Father, together, Lord, as we gather together, Father, we celebrate you, Lord. We celebrate you, Lord. We celebrate you, King of kings. We celebrate you, Jehovah Father. And thank you, Father God for your faithfulness, God Almighty, to our lives. Father, you have commanded us, God, whenever we gather together, Lord, that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for all men, for kings and all those who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and a peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. We thank you for our nation of Kenya, God Almighty. We dedicate this land into your hands, God, and we surround every border of Kenya with the blood of Jesus Christ. God Almighty, Father, may you reign over our land, O oh God. We also want to thank you, God, for the leaders that you have given us, God. Thank you for our president, O oh God. It's Excellency Dr. William Samuel Ruto, God Almighty, and his wife, Rachel Ruto. Thank you, God Almighty, Father, for the Deputy President, O oh God, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, and also, God Almighty, His wife, Reverend Dolkas, God. We bless them, God Almighty, this morning, Father, as a church. We pray that, God Almighty, the glory of God shall shine upon them in the name of Jesus. That, God, you shall direct them, God, as they lead us in the name of Jesus Christ. Every man and every woman in authority in this land, oh God, we are dedicating them unto you, Lord, that you shall protect them, Lord. You shall take care of their lives in the name of Jesus. And Father, to us as an entire nation, may you, God Almighty, Father, continue to comfort and strengthen this nation, even in times 
such as this in the name of Jesus. We lift up your name and we give you glory, Java Father. Thank you, God Almighty, for all the leaders. Lift them, God Almighty, Father, as they lead us in the name of Jesus. We love you and we praise and we magnify your name. Also, God Almighty, we are grateful that you have given us the general overseer of the Reference Church International, Dr. Bishop Mark Karaoke. We thank you, Father, for Reverend Joyce Karaoke. We thank you, Father, for their lives as they lead us in this great ministry, Lord. Let your wisdom rest upon them. Let the revelation of your word, God Almighty, be together with them, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you walk together with them, Father, and this great ministry, Lord, and the leadership we dedicate to you, God. Our bishops, God Almighty, our region overseers, God Almighty, our sub-region overseers, Lord, our pastors, God Almighty, and every member of this great ministry, wherever they are gathered today, Lord, speak to us, Lord God Almighty. Build us together, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, and we bless you, God Almighty, because you have gathered us together, Lord, here at the house of bread, God, and our hearts are open before you, that you may feed us, God Almighty. Our hearts are hungry. Feed us, God Almighty. Our hearts are thirsty, Lord. Today, God Almighty, Father, may you feed us in the name of Jesus. Anoint your servant, God, even as he brings your word today, God. Thank you, Father, for every department in this ministry, Lord. May you, God Almighty, bless all of us and unite us together, Father. We also pray, God Almighty, for Pastor Agessa and Pastor Helen as they lead us in this awesome ministry, in this house of bread. May you, God Almighty, Father, lift them and anoint them, God Almighty. And that is why, God Almighty, Father, together we celebrate you, Lord. Together, Lord, we celebrate you, Lord. Together, Lord, we celebrate you, Lord. We praise you, Lord, and we magnify your name. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe and we all say amen. 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 Put your hands together as we welcome our pastor. Let us stand up on our feet. Let us all be upstanding in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say, this is my day. This is my day. One more time. Come on, somebody say, this is my day. This is my day. This is my season. This is my season. I was born for this season. I was born for this season. I am prepared for this season. I am prepared for this season. I am favored for this season. I am favored for this season. I am appointed for this season. I am appointed for this season. I am anointed for this season. I am anointed for this I season. I am wired for this season. I am wired for this season. And my life, and my life will never, will never, ever, ever be the same again. Be the same again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let us celebrate the Lord. Let us celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has met for us to rejoice and be glad in it. You know what? There is a passage of scripture which says this. That in all things, we must give thanks. In all things. Interesting enough, the Bible does not say for all things. It says in all things. It doesn't say for all things. But in all things. None of you here is a stranger in Jerusalem. All of us here, we know the tragedy that, 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 that befell our nation, our motherland, on, on, on that day. On that day. That helicopter crash in El Gao Maracot on the border, on the border of El, El, El Gao Maracot and Poco, West Pokot counties. And that, 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 that was the saddest day. That was the saddest day. I got to hear the news from a certain website that I've, a news breaking website that I'm subscribed to. And I can tell you, I was praying, the Lord, let not this be true. Let this not be true. But unfortunately, unfortunately, it was. So I want you to know the president went on and declared three days of national mourning. Three days Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So the three days are lapsing today. And therefore, as Kenyans, as patriotic Kenyans, as the sons and daughters of the soil, I would request all of us, we just observe one minute of silence. One minute of silence in honor and in memory of our departed gallant soldiers. So let's just observe a, mem a minute of silence. Our Father and our God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. We thank you. Just in, in obedience to your word, which says that in all things, in all things, we should give thanks. We want to thank you as a nation. As a nation, we want to tell you thank you for the great things that you have done. And while at it, Lord, we present the families, the bereaved families, the families of these gallant soldiers who passed on on Thursday afternoon. We present these grieving families before you and pray that by your spirit, dear Lord, you will minister comfort unto these families. This is something that only you, dear Lord, can do. Only you, dear Lord, can do. May you touch their hearts and minister comfort, minister strength, and minister hope unto them. The Lord, as they grieve the loss, fill their hearts with the assurance that Jesus, you are on their side. Fill their hearts with the blessed assurance that Jesus is theirs. Father, thank you. Even I pray for His Excellency, the President, who is the Commander-in-Chief of our Defense Forces. We pray strength upon Him, Lord. We pray comfort for Him. We pray the Lord you sustain Him during this very difficult moment. Cause His ears to hear the whisper of the Holy Ghost cause his ears to hear the voice that comes from above the voice that ministers to the broken hearts 
I thank you, Lord, for the entire Republic of Kenya and all our men in uniform, the, def the, the defense forces of Kenya. I pray that, Lord, you'll cause them to have their confidence in you, to put their trust and their confidence in you, even at this difficult moment. We thank you, Lord, for you are our comforter, you are our strength, you are our help in time of need. Let your name be glorified. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all Kenyans at times such as this and forever. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. Yeah, let's appreciate the Lord. Let's appreciate the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Many years ago, we used to sing the song, This is the day, this is the day the, the Lord has made, the, the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice, and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the best, this is If you were, turn around and wave at your neighbor with a smile, even as you take out in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You know, I'm, I'm super excited to see all of us in the house of the Lord. Super excited. Yani, you defeated the weather. You defeated the weather. Sasa niambie, huyu munga naeza kosa aje kukubariki. Anaeza kosa aje kukuhudumia. You defeated the weather. Uliamuka kama kuna manyunyu, manyunyu, manyunyu. Lakini you are in the house of the Lord. May the Lord minister unto you. May the Lord do you well. In Jesus' name. Amen. It is a great blessing and I'm so happy to see all of you. And, uh, and, and uh, we, uh, it was a great blessing throughout the week. I was following very keenly everything that was happening together with the meetings, the DOF meetings that we had in Nakuru. It was a powerful moment. Wow. Wow, it was a powerful moment. And I was so excited just seeing there our mother, Reverend Joyce. You see, to all of those guys who are seated there, they were seeing her, they were seeing their bishop. But for us, we were seeing our pastor. There's a difference. There's a difference. Uh, he, she is the bishop, quite your level. Like in Hapa, Sasa Hapa Ivi, she's our pastor. And we are so glad to have you in the house. Let's appreciate the woman of God. Let's appreciate the woman of God. Hallelujah. 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 It was so good. And I must say thank you to the ladies here who sacrificially went. That is how destinies are captured. Even if your destiny is nakwanga, captured. Your lives will never be the same again. Now, wale wanaume when you are volunteer to support, waka support their wives, their, their sisters, kwenda kwa your conference, may the Lord remember you. May the Lord remember you in Jesus' name. So uh, time is not on our side. Very quickly, what to Sunday school? Sunday school children, Simomeni Haraka. Simomeni Haraka, Haraka, what to Sunday school? I want to pray for you to release you to go to the Sunday school. Sunday school children, yes. Alafu, uh, teenagers, teenagers wangu, tafadhalini, I want to make a request. Teenagers, mutabaki hapa, musiende ju. Lakini on Tuesday, I'll be having a brief fellowship on Nanyinyi Hapa. All teens, all teens on Tuesday, 
Tuesday between 1 and 4. Tafadhali wazazi mtaachilia teenagers will come. Because I have some that want to talk to them. Wakati yule zilifungwa. So teenagers tunabaki na wako church. Lakini if you know you are not a teenager when you are coaching your teenagers, tusimame juu. Na walimu, together with the Sunday school teachers, with the Sunday school teachers. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak your blessings upon our children, even as I release them to go for Sunday school. May you minister unto them. Use the teachers to do this noble ministry. The noble ministry of, of, of releasing the seed, the incorruptible seed of your word, into the hearts of these children. Your word, which shall remain a light unto their path and a lamp unto their feet. The Lord, we endeavor, we endeavor to train and to bring up our children in the ways of the Lord. For the promise of your word is that as they grow up, they will never depart. Therefore, Lord, thank you for the seal of righteousness that is upon all our children and they will continue to grow in the fear of the Lord. I thank you, Lord, and I bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hi, our daughter, Pola Pole. Pola Pole, mutafata walimu. Pola Pole, muende kwa Sunday school. Alafu ni najua mungu atawabariki mukiwa uko. I, I saw a picture. I received a picture of our bishop. Before ni walete salam, I, I saw a picture of our bishop in Colorado Springs. Sasa I don't know, nimetuma hapa watu wa media nione kama mtu anaweza niweke hiyo picha kwa screen. Yes. There it is. That is our bishop. That is our father. Yeah, that is our father. Apo panaitwa Colorado Spring. In the United States of America. Naona hiyo snow. Hebu leta ingine kuna yes, hiyo, hiyo, hiyo. That one I wanted you to see that one. The bishop is in Colorado Springs. I received this, this, this photo deep in the night. So that you can continue uplifting him in prayer. You can continue to uplift our father before the Lord in prayer. Because kazi inatakanga mungu mwenyewe. Buwana sifiwe. kazi inatakanga mungu mwenyewe. So we love you. Bishop, we love you so much and we honor you. May the Lord continue to use you. May the Lord continue to use you for his own glory. You are a vessel in his hands. And that one we recognize and we bless the Lord for you. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you so much. So now, without taking more time, I want us to go into the next session of receiving the word of the Lord. Come up on a Bible, lift up, lift it up high. Swing, it is called the sword of the spirit. Swing it in the air, swing it in the air. The sword of the spirit. Come on, somebody say, this is my Bible. This is my Bible. It is the word of God. Word of God. I, love I love it. It has changed my life. It has changed my life. And right now, and right now willingly, willingly, I open up my spirit, I open up my spirit to, receive to receive the incorruptible, the incorruptible seed, of the word of God. seed of the word of God. And my life and my life will never, never ever, ever be the same again. Be the same in again. Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Put your Bible somewhere on your laps and put, the, put your hands together for the Lord. Celebrate the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so this morning, to bring us the word of the Lord, it is one of the sons of the bishop. The bishop has told us over and over again that he has a forest of sons. Spiritually speaking, kiroho, mungu alibariki askofu wetu na watoto wengi sana katika ulimwengu ya roho. So this morning, Pastor Steve, Steve is not a stranger here. He's been here. We've, we've drunk from his ministry. We've drunk from what the Lord is doing in his life. And this morning, the, the whole, the whole, the, the last week, I was following on online when he was ministering in Nakuru. And I didn't know that the Lord is going to make it possible for him to be here with us this morning. So I request you, ladies and gentlemen, let us be upstanding. Let us be upstanding and we receive the man of God. Pastor Steve, let us receive. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Oh, put your hands together. Put your hands together. Put your hands together, you will receive the man of God. Hallelujah. 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 What a blessing. Hallelujah. What a blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. Hallelujah. Bwana Siviwa. For the Lord is good. And all the time. Even on a rainy day like this, he is still good. Amen. 
you all braced yourself to be in the house of God on a rainy day. Give yourself a clap offering. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I received greetings from Dr. Bishop Mark Karaoke. He said greetings to all of you. when he sent me to come and bring the word this morning. And I want to appreciate my sister, Reverend Joyce. I appreciate you, I honor you. And on behalf of my wife and our children, I want to bring a gift to you as a token of appreciation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. My wife, I talked to her last night and she said a big hi to all of you. This year we are celebrating 36 years of marriage. And God has been good to us. God has been faithful to us. Hallelujah. I want to open my laptop as I wait for the sound guys to fix it. Um, thank you guys. Appreciate you. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we are good. Hallelujah. Dr. Bishop Mark Karaoke is in the States and I'm here. I live in Delaware and it's interesting that we are, we are exchanging this way. I think it is a beautiful thing. The one standing before you is a former watchman with Kenya Railways right next to you. A former hawker in the streets of Nairobi. I have been in Kamukunji Central Police Station not to visit someone but to sleep there many times to god be the glory i do not qualify to stand before you and preach the gospel but god qualifies me so i can speak <laughs> hallelujah. hallelujah to god be the glory therefore remember that where you are it is just but a stepping stone to where god is taking you <laughs> hallelujah and i want you to know that with god all things are possible we serve a mighty God. We serve a faithful God. We serve a loving Father. He is a provider. He is a healer. Hallelujah. He is the one that gives us promotion. He is the one that gives us, get, takes us from one glory to another. He is a loving God. Don't worry about where you are. If God before you, no one can be against you. He who began a good work in you, he shall complete it. Because God is not man. I said God is not man I said God is not man that he should lie hallelujah if he began it in you he will finish it hallelujah God begins and finishes so no matter where you are in life, even if you feel like you're successful, there is more in God than you ever know. Hallelujah. Even if you feel like God has forgotten you, God forgets nobody. He loves you with an everlasting love. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that he chose us in him before the foundations of the earth. If we are chosen before then, then we are doing so well. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. We did not choose him, but he chose us. If I am chosen, then the one who chose me will take care of me. And I as a viewer. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Father, may you speak to us. May you minister to us the word of grace. May you cause us to see you and know you in depths that we did not know you before. May we come out of this place saying it was good to have been in the presence of the Lord. We honor you. We surrender our lives to you in Jesus' name. Somebody shout a big amen. amen. Somebody shout a big amen. amen. In the book of Isaiah chapter number 61 verse 1, the Bible says that the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me. 
Somebody say, I am, I am anointed. He has anointed me to preach the good tidings to the poor. He has sent, to, he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Can somebody shout a big amen? amen. And the day of vengeance for our God to comfort all those who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness. Somebody shout, I am a tree of righteousness. The planting of the Lord. Say the planting of the Lord. That he may be glorified. Hallelujah. Everything God does is so he can be glorified. When God blesses you, it is not for you. It is for his name's sake. Hallelujah. Everything that God does, he does it for himself. In the book of John 3, 16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world, you know the scripture, that he gave his only begotten son, that whomsoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. Friends, I want you to know that Christ came so that he can give us an exchange. The Bible says that he became poor, that we might become rich. The Bible says he was wounded for our transgressions. Hallelujah. It wasn't for him, it was for us that he came to the earth. And the Bible says by his stripes we are healed. I want you to know that everything God does, he does it for himself. Hallelujah. When God blesses you, it's so that his name may be glorified. Hallelujah. When God heals you, it's so that God may be glorified. Therefore, when you're asking God to heal you, just know that he is willing to heal you. He wants to heal you. He wants to bless you. He wants to see you prosper. He wants to see you in good health. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I want, to I want you to know that your mouth is your weapon. Hallelujah. But I is as a viewer. Mdomo wako ndio silaha yako. Hallelujah. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, no. But when we open our mouth, we create with our own mouth. Hallelujah. Your mouth is your weapon. Say with me, my mouth is my weapon. Hallelujah. In the book of Matthew 17, 20, the Bible says, he replied, because you have so little faith, Truly I say, truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain. Notice the Bible doesn't say you can pray to this mountain. The Bible says you can say, hallelujah. And the Bible says move from here to there and it will move. Nothing or nothing will be impossible for you. Hallelujah. Declare with me, nothing is impossible for me. Only those who believe it are able to say it with authority. Nothing is impossible for me. Say with me. Hallelujah. Jesus himself said, it is because of your little faith. That's why you are believing after the fact. The Bible says he was going through a particular place and there was a tree that seemingly looked like it had fruit to be eaten. But when Jesus got closer, 
he discovered that there wasn't any fruit on the tree. And because Jesus understands that you can literally speak to anything and anything can hear you, he spoke directly to the tree and said to the tree, no one will eat from you again. I want you to know that when you speak to your mountain, your mountain can hear you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to know that the mountain of cancer can hear you. The mountain of diabetes can hear you. You got to speak directly to it. And it's okay to pray, but I want you to know that there is a place for prayer and there is a place for speaking to the mountain. Hallelujah. When David was, was facing Goliath, he did not kneel down and say, oh God, help me from this giant. He spoke directly to the giant and he said to him, today I will cut you into pieces and I will feed your body to the birds of the air. I want you to know that there is a time that you speak to your mountain, the mountain that is facing you and the mountain will hear you and obey you because the mountain knows your voice mountain knows your authority you got to be okay knowing that when you speak things will happen when i used to as a viewer and so the bible says that when they are coming back through the same place after a couple of days the bible says that the disciples saw the tree that the tree had withered away and they were excited and began to say master the tree that you cast has withered away and he said to them, O oh, ye of little faith, why have so much, so little faith? Why is it that you believe only when you see? When I spoke to the tree, the tree heard me that time. And you ought to have believed that time because whatever I speak, though it tarry, it shall come to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. And he say to them, if you have faith as a mustard seed, truly I tell you, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Not that it might move, but it will move. Amen. Hallelujah. When I is a viewer. You see, most believers, they think that if they cry so much, then the mountain will move. God did not tell you to cry. Oh, Mungu menisahau. Oh, Mungu, aona vile ni meteseka. The mountain is still looking at you, and it will not move because of your many tears. God is not looking for soldiers who are timid and who are crying all the time. He is looking for soldiers with authority in their mouth who will rise up and say, I speak to you, mountain. Be moved in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. He didn't raise you to be a timid person. He raised you to be strong. Bible say they that know their God shall be strong. You ought to be strong. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Oh, Buana Yesu as a viewer. They that know their God, they shall be strong. And they shall do exploits. Hallelujah. Buana Yesu as a viewer. In the book of Mark, chapter number 5, from verse 1, the Bible says, Then they came to the other side of the sea, to the country of, the of, of, of Garaceres. And when he had come out of the boat immediately, there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit, hallelujah, who was dwelling who had his dwelling among the tombs. No one could bind him, not even, the, not even with chains, because he had often been bound with shackles and chains. The chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles broken in pieces. Neither could anyone tame him. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying out, and cutting himself with stones. When he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. You ought to say amen. amen. He cried out to him. 
Hallelujah. He cried out with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I implore you by God that you do not torment me. Hallelujah. For he said, Come out of the man, unclean spirit. Notice, Jesus did not pray for the man. He spoke to the unclean spirit. Hallelujah. Jesus did not pray that the spirit may come out. He spoke to the unclean spirit. And what happened? The next verse. And he said, to, he asked him, what is your name? And he answered saying, my name is Legion, but we are many. Also, he begged him honestly that he would not send them out of the country. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there near the mountains. So all the demons begged him saying, send us to the swine that we may enter them. And at once Jesus gave them permission. And the unclean spirits went out and entered the swine. There were about 2,000. And they had run violently to the steep place into the sea and drowned into the sea. You're all very familiar with this text. Every time you see someone who is having a problem with their mind, if you see someone who is not okay in their head, you don't know how to help them. Usually people like those will live just about anywhere under the bridge they walk in the rain. They will eat just about anything. Nobody can keep such a person. Somebody who is not well in their mind, they can walk from here to Nakuru, eating just about anything, not knowing how far they have gone. They are tormented. But Jesus came to seek those who are lost. And the Bible says he went where he, the man was. And when the demons saw Jesus coming, they began to speak. Why are you coming to torment us? It is as if they are not tormenting the man. <laughs> Jesus was coming to do to them what they have been doing to that man. To torment them. I want you to know that there comes a time when you look at your family that has been tormented by the devil and decide I'm going to turn the tables around. This that has been tormenting for you so, so long. It is time for it to leave now in Jesus name. And Jesus spoke to the man and he said, what is your name? And the man said, my name is Region, because there were many demons that were living in the man. All these demons had to come out. Thrown into 2,000 pigs and the pigs could not even handle those demons. They drowned into the sea. I want you to know that there is power in your mouth. Jesus said, greater things shall you do because I go to my father. Now I want you to know that when you see demons tormenting a man, you can use your mouth with authority and the demons will obey you. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says nothing shall be impossible for you. Your mouth is your weapon. Your mouth is your weapon. Use your mouth. Hallelujah. Know when it is time to pray. Know when it is time to speak to your mountain. Hallelujah. Walk in faith. Hallelujah. Have confidence that faith will do what you send it to do. And then be confident that God has already equipped you to overcome every force that is trying to oppose your destiny and victory. Hallelujah. You already are equipped. Somebody say, I am equipped. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore then, in order for you to, to be able to be effective in using your mouth and to overcome the evil one with your mouth, 
you must train yourself how to speak. When it's raining like this, you can be saying, Please, that's not the language of a believer. Hallelujah. You can be saying, It is very easy to catch malaria now. No. Hallelujah. Declare, I live a healthy life. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Hallelujah. Don't say, oh, this rain is going to kill us. No, it will not kill us. We are protected by the hand of the Almighty. Hallelujah. Don't you remember Elijah? Elijah did not pray about rain. He said, there is not going to be rain until I say so. Until I say so, it is not going to rain. He didn't say until I pray. He didn't say until God says it. He said until I say so. That's a man who understood his own authority. And I tell you, there was no rain on the earth. For three and a half years, they were crying. They were praying. But a man said, until I say so, it is not going to rain. They were suffering because one man exercises faith and said, it's not going to rain until I say so. You got to understand the authority that you have. You have to allow yourself to, to, to speak the words of faith. The Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong. Therefore, whenever you are weak, declare, I am strong. Hallelujah. Let the poor say, I am rich. Even when you're poor, declare that I am rich. I have everything I need. Hallelujah. 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 In the book of Mark eleven twenty two, 22, the Bible says, So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. In other words, just have faith in God. Hallelujah. That's enough. Have faith in God. For surely I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea and does not doubt. Our biggest problem is doubt. Because we look at our present condition. And we think because of what we are going through. That we don't still have authority to speak to our mountains. Be removed and cast into the sea and does not doubt. But believe that those things which he says. Believes that those things which he says will be done. There is a time to say things. He will have whatever he says. Hallelujah. There comes a time when you begin to say to your family, I am building a new home. Just say it. I am building a new home. Hallelujah. Somebody will tell you, you don't even have a job. How are you building it? Tell them, I am building a new home. But as was a view. Because God did not tell us to concern with ourselves with how. When Jesus spoke to the tree and said, no one will eat from you again, he did not concern himself with how the tree will wither away. No. All he needed to do was speak. Hallelujah. The problem with us is we look at how much we earn versus how much we are talking about. No, I look at how much my father has. Amen. Hallelujah. And if my father owns all things and has all things, then I actually speak according to what he has, not what I have. Thank you, Lord. You got to train yourself to speak those things that be not as if they are, so they can become. You align your life with your mouth. Hallelujah. You speak to the mountain. Don't be afraid. Don't concern yourself with how the mountain will move. It's none of your spiritual business. Speak to the mountain. Your work is to speak to the mountain. Hallelujah. Elijah, when he said there's not going to be rain until I say so, he did not worry about how the clouds will hold the rain for three and a half years. It was none of his business. His work was to speak. Speak. Hallelujah. 
Mana Yesu asifiwe. We've been called to speak. Hallelujah. We've been called to say. The Bible says, but believe those things that which he says will be done. That I believe that whatever I say will be done. The Bible says he will have whatever he says. Amen. Therefore I say to you, whatsoever things you ask when you pray, the things now you ask when you pray, this is another place. When you pray, those things that you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Therefore then, those things that you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received them. So you're not having a religious way of prayer where you're not expecting God to do things for you. Hallelujah. The Hindus, they pray to their 1.3 million gods. They never expect God, their gods to answer prayers. You ought to be different because we serve a living God. That when you pray, God will answer your prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Zechariah 4, 7. These men of God say to a mountain, What are you? Say with me, what are you? Say with me, what are you? <laughs> he said to the mountain, who are you? Oh, great mountain. Before Steve come out, you shall become a plain. Hallelujah. And it shall bring forth the capstone with, its, with shouts of grace. Hallelujah. You will become a plain. And he will bring you down. But as a viewer. Hallelujah. You got to speak to your mountain. And say to your mountain, you will become a plain. And I will bring you down. Hallelujah. You remember this issue, the woman who had an issue of blood for many years. The Bible recalls that she has suffered with an issue of blood for 12 years. You know the story. Hallelujah. The Bible says that she has spent all her money with the doctors. Amen. Am I the only one who knows the story? Hallelujah. Do you know the story? That she has spent all her money where? In the hospitals. Hallelujah. At this point, she has no money left. The Bible says that when she heard that Jesus was passing by, she said to herself, there was no one around her. Remember the issue of blood was not something that you can hang around people in those days. Even today, if you have an issue like that one, it would be uncomfortable to be around people. You'll be alone. And so she said within herself, if I, if I can just touch the hem of his garment. She didn't pray. She said, if I can touch the hem of his garment. She said, I know. I shall be made well. And the Bible says she kept on saying that if I can only touch the hem of his garment, I know that I shall be made well. But I as if you... And the Bible says that Jesus is passing through her street. And there were many people around Jesus. And she squeezed in according to her faith. This had not been done before. She did not read it in a book that someone else had touched the hem of Jesus, the garment of Jesus, and were made whole. Her faith was not based on something that she had read before. There was nothing that was written about it before. Nobody else had witnessed about it before. This was her first encounter and her first experience. But she said, if I can only touch the hem of the garment of Jesus, I know that I shall be made well. And the Bible says when she touched the hem of the garment of Jesus, the flow of blood ceased and she became completely well. And Jesus stopped. Hallelujah. The only thing that stops Jesus is when you touch him by faith. Amen. Hallelujah. And he says, someone did actually touch me. And the disciples said, you know, there are many people around. So you're right, someone touched you. But most likely there are many people who touched you. And many people come to church and only a few touch him. 
Sometimes it's just one. He said, no, there is one who touched me with faith. Hallelujah. And the woman came and looked at Jesus and said, it's I. And Jesus said, your faith has made you whole. It is your faith that will make you whole. It is your ability to say those things that be not as if they are that will change your circumstance. It is your ability to, to believe and have faith in God. That God is able to do what he said in his word he will do that will change your circumstance. Hallelujah. I want you to know one thing that faith knows. Imani inajua. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Faith knows. The woman said, if I can only touch the hem of his garment, I know that I shall be made well. Therefore, faith knows. Number two, faith is confident. Hallelujah. Faith is sure. It shall come to pass. Faith knows. Faith is confidence. Faith is sure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore then let the weak say I am strong. And let the poor say I am rich. Because of what God has done. Hallelujah. 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 Now then... You must, as a child of God, train yourself to speak the language of God. Hallelujah. You remember Jesus, sorry, God in the, in the, in the, in the book of Genesis. The Bible says that darkness covered the whole earth. There was darkness in the face of the deep. But God did not speak to the darkness, telling the darkness move. He spoke it to existence, that which he needed to come, and he said, let there be light. And light appeared. You train yourself to speak those things that be not as if they are, and they shall become. Therefore then, allow God to train you through his word to speak faith. Constantly speak faith. Hallelujah. When you want to go somewhere, declare that I am going overseas to this country and this country, but don't concern yourself with how. Speak it and let God make a way for you. Hallelujah. The problem with the today's generation, we have a lot of intellectual people who wants to know how things will fare out before they can speak it. You hear a lot of believers who say, I don't want to say it, and then I am disappointed. It's not you to be disappointed. God is not intimidated by your big dreams. Hallelujah. Believe God. Have faith in God. Trust him to come through for you. Hallelujah. Believe that he will come through for you. Believe that though sorrow may endure for a night, joy comes in the morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Trust him with all your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Trust God. Hallelujah. Faith is trusting God. That God will do what he said in his word he will do. Hallelujah. If he said he will do it, I wait for him to do it. And I keep declaring it. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. I keep declaring it. Hallelujah. I keep declaring it. Hallelujah. A number of years ago, I told my family, I believe God that I'm going to build a 10-story building. 
And right on top of it, I've already seen Steve Kamau Enterprises. Right on top. It is not yet built, but you'd better believe it. Before I die, I will see it happen. But as a viewer, because I'm not concerning myself with how, I'm concerning myself with saying it. Hallelujah. And the more I say it, the more it becomes smaller. When I first started saying it, it was looking like a very big thing. Now, I've said it for a few years, it has become achievable. But as a viewer, that's why David could look at Goliath and say, I've seen God deliver me from a lion. I've seen God deliver me from a bear. Even you uncircumcised Philistine, because of the many miracles God has performed in my life, you will become like one of them. I am not intimidated. I am unbogable. I will fight you. Hallelujah. And I will cut you into pieces because I know whom I have believed. And I'm persuaded that he is able and because he is able I will come before you I do not depend on my armor I do not depend on my strength I depend on the hand of God and today the whole nation of Israel will know that there is a God in Israel Amen. hallelujah you got to speak with confidence that God, he will make it happen for me. My God will supply all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. You got to be a believer of this gospel. You cannot be one only who quotes scriptures. You must walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't tell me that you believe in God and every time you see an opposition, you shrink. You, be, you ought to be able to rise up and say, no, I rise up in power. I rise up with authority. I know who I am. I rise up declaring those things that be not as if they are. I know that my Redeemer live it and if it lives I know that I shall be okay it is well with my soul hallelujah hallelujah rise up all you men of valor and declare greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world raise up your voice all you women of strength and declare no weapon that is fashioned against me shall be able to prosper I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength no weapon I say no weapon formed against Against me, no weapon formed against me. No witch doctor can that can bewitch me. No sickness can defeat me. I am more than a conqueror through Christ who gives me strength. <laughs> Hallelujah. Rise up, you mighty army of God, and raise your voice like an army declaring those things that be not as if they are, so they can become. Hallelujah. Who told you to cry? Army people don't cry. Soldiers don't cry. They declare things. And those things that they declare come to pass. I want you to call. I want to call you soldiers of God. Rise up with power. Your mouth is your weapon. Rise up this morning. Your mouth is your weapon. Use your mouth this morning. Use your mouth this morning. Hallelujah. 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 He is the same yesterday. He is the same today and forevermore. He does not change. You ought to align yourself with the purposes of God and begin to declare 
Hallelujah. I can hear you declare in the mighty name of Jesus. You can shape the nation of Kenya by speaking. You can shape your health by speaking. You can shape your finances by speaking. You can declare and when you declare, believe that those things which you speak, they shall come to pass. Declare with me this morning. I am favored. I am victorious. I have all things that I need. Come on, lift up your voice. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost come upon you now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit come upon you now. Let the glory of the risen Lamb of God rest upon you now so that you see no more mountains that you speak to them and they become more hills. They become nothing before your presence. Rise up with power. Rise up with power. Let authority come in your mouth now I decree declare your authority in your mouth is coming with great strength now speak in Jesus holy name I refuse to be defeated. I know who I am. I refuse to be sick another day. For I know who I am. I refuse to be broke another day. Because I know who I am. I refuse to be broke another day. Because I know who I am. I refuse to be broke another day. Reign in victory. Come on, come on, come on. Speak, Kashi. Speak to your mountain. Whatever it is, that is your mountain. I don't know your mountain, but you know your mountain. Speak directly to that mountain this morning. Speak to your mountain this morning. Speak to your mountain this morning. Is there anything impossible with God? I tell you that nothing is impossible with God. For with God all, all things are possible. Zaka kaza reke keke zika bose keri babosa randa yala mama zeke re babosa rise up with fire rise up with great anointing this morning for greater is he that is in him than he that is in the world oh we thank you lord thank you father father this morning as your word has come forth your word is a seed. May it bring forth a great harvest in our lives. May we never be defeated another day we are living in this life. May we walk in victory. Oh God, may you hear from heaven above and answer the prayer of your people. Oh God, we praise you because we know that every sickness is healed under this anointing. Every disease, everything that is not ease, broken under the authority of the word of God. Father, we praise you because every financial crisis, it is destroyed in the authority of the word of God. And so God, we come out of this place as a mighty army to transform this great nation and the nations of the world. Because we know who we are. And we also know that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. So we rise with power. And we thank you that you've heard our prayer this morning. In Jesus' holy name. Can you shout a big amen? amen. Hallelujah. Listen. Before I take my seat. If you're here this morning. And you know very well that if the trumpet would sound like this moment. And the Son of God will appear in glory. And that trumpet will sound. And those who are dead in Christ will rise first. And then those who are living 
will be caught up together with him. Where we will be eternity with him, you know that you know that you're not sure that you have that kind of a testimony. You know that you do not know Jesus Christ and your sins have not been forgiven. The scripture says, Come unto me, O ye that labor and are heavily laden. When he was on that post and they were whipping him and the blood was gushing out of his body and then they nailed him on the cross and put a hat of thorns on his head. It was because of you. That's how much he loved you. Behold, what manner of love is this? And he says, come to me, all ye, all ye that labor and are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. He wants to make it easier for you. He doesn't call you so he can make it difficult for you. I know how I was before Christ, and I know how my life has been transformed after I have known Christ. I want to offer you that opportunity. If you would like for us to pray for you, that you may be forgiven of your sins, please be the very first one to lift up your hand and say, it is me. I want to give my life to him. Is there one? Ashes. Would you check if there is anyone that is lifting up their hands where I cannot see? Thank you. Thank you. They lifted up their hands. Won't you bring them forward so that they can declare publicly that I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus where there is a power of God unto salvation. Is there one? Won't you come quickly? I only have... I only have one minute. Won't you come? Quickly? Come. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you. There's two more people right here. I want you to know that that spirit of fear that is surrounding you is not from God. The enemy would want you to think that you're going to lose anything, but he doesn't tell the truth. Every time he opens his mouth, he is lying. Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Where are you? I'm about to sit down. Where are you? Come. Come. Where are you? Won't you come? Lift up your hand and come. Hallelujah. Pastor, won't you come and take it from here? Please put your hands together for the pastor as he comes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say, my life will never, ever be the same again. In Jesus' name. Let us appreciate the Lord and also we appreciate the man of God. Let us appreciate the Lord and appreciate the man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a good thing and we really thank the Lord. Before we pray for this brother, allow me also to include our viewership, our online viewership. Those who are following us from our social media platforms or from the television. This is your day. This is your day. Uh, to the Lord, distance is not a barrier. So wherever you are, kindly repeat this prayer after me. And the whole congregation, let us pray this together with our online viewers, and the Lord shall do them well. Come on, say, Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. I commit my life unto you. I open up my heart that you may come into me and live in me change my life. I repent all my sins. I confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he died and rose again for me. Therefore this day, I accept him as my Lord and my Savior. Amen. 
Heavenly Father, thank you. I thank you for our viewers who have, particularly that one who has repeated this prayer for the very first time. I speak your blessings upon them wherever they are, and I pray the Lord you will fill, <clears throat> you will fill them with your spirit and they begin the work of righteousness in their lives. I break every bondage of sin. I break every chain that has been holding their lives. I set them free to live for God and to the glory of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Let us appreciate the Lord. Let us appreciate the Lord. Amen. 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 Now let's come back here. I want to pray for this brother. You have done good. This is the beginning. And good things are on the way. A total transformation is beginning right now. So, repeat this after prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for saving me. This is my day. I confess that I am a sinner. But Jesus Christ died for me. Therefore, right now, I accept him as Lord and Savior over my life. From today, I am born again. I am a new creature in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, let us appreciate the Lord. Let us appreciate the Lord. Let us appreciate the Lord. Amen. So now, now, when people get born again, it is a brand new life. And the starting point is usually you speak it with your mouth. You say, I am born again. So inulia watum kono wambiye, mimi ni meokoka. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. Therefore, Sasa, I want you to 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 text message. Una kama ni mamako, kama ni best, taka unaandiko unasema today, mimi nime nime okoka. Ukianza hivo, utaona shiji munga takufunya sini sawa. Tukimadila ibada, when you finish the service, unona yule, Paul come here. Paul come here. Unona uyu, uyu ni mchunga jiwetu. When we finish the service, atakuwa hapa. Utakuja hapa, utampata hapa, atakuchukua. Atakukalisha china, kuambia mambo mawida, matatu ambayo itachaji maisha. Kwa sini sawa? Asante sawa. Let's appreciate the Lord as you go back to sit in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We may take our seats, we may take our seats in the presence of the Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pastor Steve, Steve Kamau. Thank you so much, man of God. It has been powerful. Our lives will never be the same again. And thank God that you came. And thank God that you have allowed God to continue using you. Thank you for being a vessel. House of Bread, we celebrate you. Amen. Yeah, let's celebrate the Lord. Let's celebrate the servant of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, we have received the word of the Lord. It is time to worship the Lord with our substances. And as we do that, allow me to, to release to this the man of God so that he can go and, and hit, hit the road on the other side. And for us here, for us here, come on, somebody say poverty. Shame on you. Say on you. Poverty. poverty. Shame on you. You are under my feet. Over 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ gave you the final blow. He became poor that I might be rich. Therefore, I am a faithful tither. I am a cheerful giver. I believe and support the vision and the dream of this house. And I am connected to my prophets. And I love my pastors. In Jesus' name, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you know that as a church, we believe in tithing. We are a tithing church. The moment you join this church, you become a faithful tither because as a congregation, we are tithe compliant. 
100% tithe and 100% tithers. Why is it so? Because we believe that tithe is the foundation of your prosperity. If there is anything good that the Lord has ever done in your life, the foundation must be tithing. Your prosperity, the foundation for your prosperity is tithing. The height and the strength of any building is determined by the foundation. If the foundation is not strong, the building can never stand strong. So if you have prosperity that doesn't have a foundation, you can be sure it will not stand strong. But in the name of the Lord, I give you an opportunity to serve the Lord with your tithe and with your offering, and your life will never be the same again. Amen? So we prepared envelopes that can help you with our givings. We have the green one is for our normal giving. We have for our children, and then we have our thanksgiving. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord, and then we have a prophet's honor. Continue preparing this one. Our Father very soon is going to be here, and we will do what we usually do. Do to the glory of God. Several options that you can use for your giving. We have our church's pay bill number. Our church's pay bill number 525107. Account, you put their tithe or offering. Option B, you can use the equity bank pay bill number 247247. Account, you file, you write there our church's bank account. And you write it very carefully without missing any number. Our church's bank account is on the screen and also it is printed on this green envelope. Make sure you write it number by number so that you do not miss any number and send your offering to a different place that you did not intend to. Option three, you can do a direct transfer, particularly as you do mobile banking. You can go on your phone and wire the money from your bank account to a church's bank account, the same bank account, it is on the screen. Option three, you can do as a check. Checks are payable to Deliverance Church, LCCI. Checks are payable to Deliverance Church, LCCI. And finally, at the usher's desk at the back, we have our PDQ machines. You can go there with your ATM card. With your ATM card. Not your Naivas shopping card. Your, your ATM card. Not your NHIF card. You go there with your ATM card. Then you plug it in the machine. The ushers will assist you how to do the transaction. That machine will give you two receipts. One receipt is for your record, and another receipt you put in an envelope and bring it over here. And I want to make a request. Whatever transaction you do, your M-Pesa transaction you do on your phone for your tithe, please forward that confirmation message to the bishop's number via WhatsApp. Forward it to the bishop's number via WhatsApp, and the bishop will get back to you. He will speak to you and declare the blessings of the Lord over your life. The bishop's number, it is on the screen. Anyone who needs an envelope, please, if you need an envelope, lift up your hand. Shoot up your hand if you need an envelope. If you require an envelope, shoot up your hand. I have an envelope here. I can bring it to you by myself. If the ashes are not near you, shoot up your hand. I'll give you an envelope right away. Because sitaki mutu akose nafasi ya kuabudu buwana na sadaka na fungu la kumi. Anybody who wants an envelope, fine. Lift it up high. Lift up your offering and your tithes. We make our declarations. We are a church that believes in prophecy. We are a church that believes in warfare. The pastor has preached to us that your mouth is an ordained weapon of warfare. Whatever that you say by your mouth, it will take effect in your life. So lift it up. I want us to make our declaration. Come on, somebody say, by my tithe. I declare Jesus is alive in my resources. By my tithe, I declare the devourer bound out of my resources. By my tithe, I declare the windows of heaven open for me. The there are provisions of God and the abundance of God are my portions. The wisdom of God leads me all the way. The favor of God makes way for me. 
Therefore, Therefore, I shall not lack any good thing thing. in Jesus' name. name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Therefore, I welcome you. I would request our pastor, Fantas Kauma, to hold this basket for me, and our pastor, Reverend Jen, to hold this basket here for me, while I welcome all of us from the back on my right and from the back on my left. Let's just stand up and come. Don't be afraid to be number one. Don't be afraid to be number one. It is always a blessing to be number one. Just stand up and come, and the Lord shall bless us.
That is beautiful. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Let's appreciate them one more time. We're to Ashangelie Mara Nyingine Moja. Thank you. I forgot. I forgot to, uh, to, to sit you down after Badak Peleka to Sunday School. Munaelewa to Tafadadi. Munaelewa to. You know, some things in Mutu Sahau. Mutu Sahau. Unakujanga hapa na vitu nyingi kwa kichwa mpaka zingine unaona zime slide zimepotea tu. Sasa hawa walisimama hapo kingojoa pasta waambia wakae chini akaona pasta amewasahau kabisa. Sasa venye naona wanaenda na nimeita mhubiri haraka ndio bad but it, it is uh, when I was listening to somebody else alikuwa anasema anaziita mental health issues. <laughs> mental health issues. Yaani unasahau sahau tu vitu. Last Sunday nilikuwa nikiambia wengine hapa second service Many years ago, before I got married, I bought scissors, makasivi. And then I used to have it, you know, kama wadu kosingo, kila kitu meeka unaikutaka pinyodiweka. So, I got married, I still have those scissors in my house. But then, niko na machampion ingine wa wito, wanasemanga ni wa CBC. Wanaenda shule, sasa wakaipossessi yo makasi. Nikieta kwa sink, naikute kwa kwa sink. Nikieta kwa TV, naikute kwa hapo kwa TV. Nikienda kwa bed na ikute kukujua ya bed. Kila mahali tu that scissors na randa randa tu kwa nyumba. So one day nikasema apana, what I would do, na wanachukua ya dadina wakona yao. Nimewabaia yao ndogo. So nikachukua ya yangu, nikasema ntaficha. Nikaenda nikaficha mahali penya wezi ifikia. So, nikatafika time sana hitaji. I need the scissors. Nikasao nilificha wapi. <laughs> I remember picking that scissors, hiding it somewhere, but then I forgot where I, I hid it. So when I was saying last Sunday, Pastor General, you know. There are called mental health, you know, but we thank God, we thank God. We keep on fighting. Before we get out of this place, allow me to to bring us to speed with a few announcements. First, let me acknowledge our first-time visitors. If you are here and uh, this happens to be your very first time to worship the Lord together with us on a Sunday morning, kindly show me by lifting up your hand. Kama we ni mgeni, hii ni marako ya kwanza kuja kwa budu mungu pomoja na sisi jumapili ya subui. Ino mkono wako juni one. Oh, I can see a hand. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Is that a hand? Stand up on your feet. Simba Stand up, stand up, stand up. I see. Yes, that is so good. That is so good. That is so good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. And I want to welcome you in a very special way. One, two, three. Let's go. Welcome to the life celebration center. Welcome to the house of friends. It is a great blessing that you came to worship the Lord together with us. We do not take it for granted. We do not take it for granted. And I am sure by now, the ushers have given you a green form like this one I am holding. I would just request you, don't panic. Don't be intimidated by this green form. When we finish the service, everybody else will be walking out. You will walk in front here. These beautiful ladies will be standing here. They will receive you, and then they will take you on a room upstairs. Then on a table, they will assist you to fill this form. They will assist to fill this form on the table upstairs, and they will also serve you a cup of tea. Thank you for coming. I want to tell you this. In case you've just been praying and trusting God for a church that you can call your own, consider your prayer answered. This one is a good church. Your life will never be the same again. Thank God, and we are grateful, and we are grateful and thankful to God that you came. May the Lord bless you. Let us appreciate our visitor and also our hospitality. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, I want to bring us to speed with a few announcements. First of all, let me talk about the teenagers. Teenagers. Now, the argument was this. The argument was this. When our teens go to Sunday school, Jew, sometimes they experience, uh, uh, they experience what we call, they, they, they experience that disconnection. Then after the Sunday school in Meisha, when they come to church here, wanashinda ku connect. Connect. So 
the suggestion became that to kwange na wao hapa wale wenye wamefika 15 16 17 to kwange na wao hapa but then alafu wanaenda second service kwa chacha upstairs that was the program I was trying to pilot but ngakuti is not picking kwa sababu nyinyi mkikuja na watoto wenu hapa mnarudi na wao nyumbani after the service some watch second service then nikaanza kusikia mwingine ananiambia pastor acha tu watoto wetu warudi juu waendange juu so i'm still bado niko hapo in between sababu kanisa kama hili and i want you to know this the difficult group to be a pastor yani kile kikundi kigumu kwa mchungaji ni watu hii au wadogo kwendanga juu sasa ukuanzia na wale watoto alafu kuje hawa to keep them connected to keep them real connected that's why na request muombe anga wa Sunday school teachers na mnawapatia support kabisa sio kazi rahisi sio kazi rahisi then unatoka hapo unakuja kwa teenagers tena wanakuanga very difficult group to pastor so from teenagers unakuja kwa youth youth wa yuko wagumu sana vile and then ukitoka kwa youth unakuja kwenu nyinyi baba na wamama nyinyi ni rahisi nyinyi ni rahisi kabisa 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 nyinyi ni rahisi so the problem na kuanga nao ni huku chini and uh, i covet your support i covet your assistance i'm i'm, I, I'm always trying trying to see the best way we can do to minister to our families watoto wetu teenagers wetu na youth wetu so kama uko na mtoto ambaye ni teenager school sikifunga hivi nilikuwa nataka nikuwe tu na wao hapo on tuesday on tuesday tuongee tu i just get to know what goes on in school alafu nisikie some feedbacks from them so na request kama uko na teenager kwa nyumbani tuesday kama unaweza kama unaweza facilitate akuje nilikuwa nafikia tu kwanza saa nane lakini saa nane ni late acha tuanze saa sita saa sita ili by saa tisa tu tumemaliza ukuje nyumbani before traffic jam ama before mvua ya jioni so tuesday can you allow your teenagers wakuje i get some feedbacks from them waniambie kukanga hapa church ndio wanataka ama warudi juu because tena kurudi juu iko na advantage ni iko tena na challenge because wale kuna wengine walimaliza juu wakamaliza Sunday teenagers lakini kukuja kwa church wakashindwa wakikuja hapo wana float wamepotea kabisa na wako wamepita wamepita hiyo age Sunday school so hapo ndio tuko and i covet your support so on tuesday i'll be here trying to meet with our teenagers just to find out how we will be able to to move forward alafu jana jana the men walikuwa wameenda hike kule ngong ngong hills and they had a wonderful time the turn up was good walikuwa wengi kabisa na nashukuru mungu all the men at the house of bread may the Lord bless you because mkitokeza hivyo ndio mnafanyanga tunajua tuko na wanaume kwa nyumba thank you so much for that sacrifice for making that event successful chairman ameniambia ni wapatie appreciation so kindly accept that appreciation and I'm, oh let's appreciate them let's appreciate the men Let's appreciate the men. Okay, and then uh, all the other announcements remain constant. We have our three-hour intercessory prayer meeting tomorrow. And then uh, on Tuesday, we have our one-hour family prayers in this sanctuary. Between, Kesho is between 6 and 8 p.m. And on Tuesday, it is between 5 and 6.30 we have our family prayers hapa kanisani and all of you you are welcome to participate a christian anapata nguvu kupitia kwa maombi and then on thursday i welcome all of you to tune in for a holy communion if you are anointed at home utaipata kwa our social media platforms andika tu kwa either facebook either YouTube andika tu Bishop Mark or the Divine Church FCCI or Majestic City. You will find us there and then we will be able to, to, to partake of the Lord's table together. And it akua baraka. Alafu on Friday all the youth will be coming here for the around the altar Bible study. He Friday nilikuwa na wao hapa and it was a good time in the presence of the Lord. Alafu on Saturday we are coming back for evangelism. And in that connection, nimepata announcement hapa, all those who participate in evangelism, evangelism team members, evangelism and missions, you are meeting briefly after this service upstairs, please, for your planning and the logistics and the action, action planning, mkutane pale ju muonge na mungu atatubariki. Now, then, uh, we come now, kwa this, hii ingine, 
is about bereavements. I still continue to pray and to rebuke the spirit of death. I continue to stand on this altar to pray and to rebuke the spirit of death. Because kushindaga kwa mazishi ni kwa mazishi ya wapendwa hiyo sipendi Mungu hakunitia hiyo kazi. Hiyo sio kazi nitiwa na Mungu. So I rebuke Hatutaendelea kupoteza wapendwa wetu. Hatutaendelea kupoteza wapendwa wetu. Hiyo nimekataa. Nimekataa. So, I want you to take notice here. Our brother John Maina of Asherin Department has lost his brother in the course of this week. John Maina from the Asherin Department. His number, I want to give you John Maina's number so that you can get in touch with him. More details will come later. But for now, I want to give you his number so that you can get in touch with him and just tell him Paul for the loss. John Minus number 0722 27 3220. One more time. 0722 27 3220. This is John Minor of Ushering Department. He has lost his brother. He has lost his brother. His number again, 0722273220. Yes. Ah, ah, I can see some. No, no, no. Let me tell, say it one more time. Let me say it one more time. Now, I'm going to be by 0722273220. There has to be a double two somewhere, a rough zero. We shall work in the 220. That is your, that's John Minas number. And then again, our brother, Nick Ngunjiri. Nick Ngunjiri has been speaking to me about Mamake, who has been unwell. Now, he called me on Saturday morning. The mother went to be with the Lord in Nyeri on Friday. And uh, Nick has confirmed with me the burial is this coming Friday, 26th of April. So I want to give you again Nick Ngunjiri's number. Nick Ngunjiri's number is 0725. Double seven zero one eight seven. Nick in Gunjiri's number zero seven two five seven seven zero one eight seven. Nick in Gunjiri, he lost his mother in Nyeri, and the burial is this coming Friday. Let us text them, call them, and just get in touch with them. Give them our, 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 our we do how we normally do it as a church. We stand with one another. In that connection, let me also read for you an appreciation. The other Saturday, uh, we were in Nyandarua for the burial of uh, the, the mummy to our sister Ruth. And the sister Ruth wrote for me, wrote me this message. I was to read it last Sunday. Again, mental health issues. Nikasahau. So let me read for you. On behalf of my family and I, we would like to sincerely thank you for your assistance during the final funeral rites of our mom, Florence Njeriki Hara, with much appreciation. Thank you again for your time, love, support, and dedication. Your generosity and uh, thoughtfulness has, has seized our burden, and uh, we will always be grateful. May God bless you all. And uh, about this, I must say, I must say this, I must say this, need you appreciate Sana Town Fellowship. Town Fellowship, kwa sababu Ruth ni member of Town Fellowship. Wakati tulikuwa kule Nyandarua, niliona watu wengi kabisa from Town Fellowship. Na nikasema, Town Fellowship, pongezi sana, munafanya kazi mzuri. Hata ushirika zingine zote, let's keep on doing that. Tunasimama na mmoja wetu in times of bereavements like this. Na mungu ata tubariki as a church family. Okay. On Friday 26th, here at Barrio in Nyeri, we'll be having a family kesha here. Please, all of us tukuja kwa maombi. Kunyesha kusinyesha tukuja tu tuombe. Usiogope kwa sababu kuna nyesha. We will be here praying and calling upon the name of the Lord. There's a lot of things that require our prayer. Tuombe familia zetu, tuombe Kenya, tuombe kazi zetu, tuombe watoto wetu. Tukona mambo nyingi ambayo inaitaji maombi. Tafadhali, tukuja next Friday na munga tatubariki. This oil was brought on this altar when it was ordinary olive oil. Olive oil. But because this is the altar of the Most High God, this oil has transformed into the presence of the Lord. And wherever this oil shall be applied, signs, miracles, and wonders shall happen to the glory of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us stand up and bring this service to conclusion. 
Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I dismiss your people with your love and with your blessings. I pray that throughout this week, the goodness of the Lord and the mercies of the Lord shall pursue us and overtake us. Thank you for what you are doing. Thank you for what Thank you for your move and your manifestations in our lives and in your families, in our families. We bless you, dear Lord. I speak the protection of God. I speak the provisions of God. I speak the preservation of God upon your people. That as they continue to trust you throughout this week, signs, miracles, and wonders shall happen in our lives. Lord, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Simameni tu hivo. Musisonge simameni tu hivo.